lovelies welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you how you can make an amazing hot cross buns delicious for this recipe you will need milk i'm going to leave everything in the description box as usual full cream milk or any type of milk will do you add it in a bowl and add sugar add yeast and mix it together you're going to cover this for about five minutes to allow it to ferment this is after five minutes and you're going to see this is how it looks after five minutes and next thing you're going to add powdered milk flavor at this point you can add vanilla any flavor of your choice and then you're going to add cinnamon powder nutmeg and salt you're going to mix this together again until the powder dissolves in the mixture okay the next step you are going to set this aside and bring out another bowl add one egg and you're going to take lemon you're going to scrape the back of the lemon okay just like peeling it but this time around you're going to scrape the back make sure it is washed and it is very clean you can use orange for this as well all right so you're going to peel the back of it uh, inside the egg and you're going to mix this together after mixing you're going to cut the lemon or orange as the case may be whatever you're using you're going to cut it into two equal halves then you're going to juice out the water from the lemon that, that is the lemon juice you're going to put it inside the mixture of egg and lemon peel right now you're going to mix this together again make sure to sieve so that the seeds doesn't enter the mixture then set that aside bring out our previous mixture now mix the two wet ingredients together add melted butter to it like i said earlier i'm going to leave every detail of the measurement in the description box below so do well to check it out so you are going to mix everything together and make sure it is well incorporated just like i'm doing please pay attention to this video and don't skip any part so you don't miss any vital information okay i try to make this video as detailed as possible all right now you're going to add raisins to this mixture now here i added I mix raisin and chocolate chips do not add chocolate chips to yours because at the end of the day it's going to the, the color is going to kind of mix with the dough which is not supposed to be okay so don't add chocolate chips I just wanted that extra sweetness that was why I added chocolate chips only use raisins all right now you're going to add raisins and mix it together and you sieve your flour I use three cups of flour which is 250 ml each for this recipe so just watch what i'm doing you are going to sieve the floor and this is what it's going to look like i sieve two cups and i sieve another one cup extra which i'm going to add to this later on as i keep on mixing okay so now i'm mixing this and this is what the mixture looks like then i added the third cup of flour which is 250 ml as earlier stated and i'm going to mix this again together with spatula and then you can use your hand to knead this which i further did i use my hand to knead it then i transfer it into a surface to make sure i knead it very well if you are still watching this video at this point and you are yet to subscribe to this channel please what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and join us right here and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for watching my videos and thank you for being here so i'm going to spray sprinkle or dust the surface with floor which i did and i'm going to knead this for about 10 minutes just to make sure that the floor is ready for the next process
Now this is what I said earlier. You can see that the chocolate chips is rubbing off on the dough, right? You can see this, right? That is why I said you shouldn't use chocolate chips. Even if you are going to use it, use it at the last minute. Just maybe at this point to use it and mix it, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is to add oil inside the bowl so that the dough doesn't stick to the bowl. So I'm going to just spread or rub oil around the bowl, right? And I'm going to add the dough inside the bowl and cover it to rest for about 30 minutes or until double in size. Now I'm going to leave this to rest and after this is what it looks like after 30 minutes it has doubled in size so i'm going to remove this from the bowl and transfer it to a surface again and knead for another three minutes Now this is how it looks like everything is ready. The next step is to cut out some portion and measure it. I'm going to be using 100 gram for this. Like each, each of the dough is going to be 100 gram. What I'm going to use. Now if you don't have scale, you don't need to worry. Just use your hand to make sure everything is the same size okay that's the essence of using the scale to make sure everything is equal but if it is not equal for you maybe you is for home use it's okay there's nothing wrong with that right now i measure everything to make sure each each of the ball is 100 gram each okay so now i'm going to mold this round like a round shape into a ball and i'm going to set it aside i'll do the same thing to the rest of the dough this is what everything looks like okay now i'm going to cover this for about 30 minutes again and allow it to rise or double in size right so while that is there while we're waiting for 30 minutes in a bowl you're going to add egg and i'm going to mix this egg this is just to brush up the the top of our buns our hot cross buns is to brush the top of it okay so we're going to go back this is after 30 minutes you can see how it looks then you're going to brush top of it with this egg okay just watch what i'm doing I may I did this twice like I repeat the process of brushing the top twice just so it glitz you know when it is ready okay so after doing everything like this you're going to leave this to bake for 20 to 25 minutes on a low heat 20 to 25 minutes so while that is baking we are going to make the cross in a bowl you add powdered sugar that is icing sugar and powdered milk it can also be liquid milk it doesn't matter then you're going to juice the the remaining half of the lemon okay you're going to juice it inside the mixture and you're going to take water i'm going to also put the measurement of this water in the description box below so you're going to be putting this little by little while you are mixing it to make sure that the water is not over you don't want it to be uh, watery so you're going to be mixing it and adding to this as well to so make sure it is thick okay 
this is what it looks like after mixing so i felt like it was a little bit watery here so i added a little bit of powder sugar again to mix then after that you're going to transfer this into a piping bag you can use a piping bag or you can use a nylon like i'm using i'm using nylon right now so you're going to transfer everything inside this nylon and you're going to put this inside your fridge put it inside the fridge not freezer leave it there for about 30 minutes okay 30 minutes the mixture is going to come together okay now this is our hot cross bun and this is very ready the scent alone the aroma is giving everything is supposed to give so this is what it looks like i'm gonna brush this off with honey i'm using honey to brush the top just to give it a little taste you know like a little sweetness and a little glitz so i brushed the top of this with honey and after that i bring out that is after 30 minutes i bring out the mixture while i make this now i made a mistake here which you shouldn't do i am supposed to leave this to completely cold okay i did not do that all right i don't know why i was in a hurry but i just started putting the hot cross and at this point i'm confused because the thing is melting the buns is still hot so allow your buns to cool okay allow it to cool not like cold cold but allow it to completely cool down before you start putting the cross i started putting my cross and it was melting because it was still hot while i was doing this okay now after putting the cross and everything this is what i am doing and this is what it looks like but gosh it was yum 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 yummy now this is what it looks like <laughs> okay so this is what it looks like and i'm going to take a cut so you see everything i mean this was super super yummy yum yum i actually enjoyed it and i was so jealous i didn't want to give anybody i mean i was very stingy with this let me be honest okay you can enjoy this at any time you want and see you in my next video bye make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified when i upload new videos